For those of you who don't know us yet, we are Carol and Ken, and we like touring in our little red camper, the tiny Nissan MV200 built by Sussex Camper Vans. We offer tips and tricks for how to survive in such a tiny van, and also try and demonstrate just how easy it is to wild camp. It's the 3rd of June, and we're back at the Ponderosa Cafe at the top of the Horseshoe Pass. The Ponderosa is very popular with motorcyclists, but this morning it's the Porsches that have turned up. Is that what it is? Uh, Porsche Driving Days UK. Porsche Driving Days UK. Okay, great, thanks. The good folks from the club were very kind in allowing me to film the cars. Oh, they'll be over there later. Yeah. Once the Ponderosa was open, all the cars relocated to the main car park and lined up for a photo opportunity. Once the photos were in the bag, they all went into the cafe for a bit of breakfast. There's a good phone signal up here, so I took the opportunity to upload one of the movies. So these are the Aldi breakfast burgers. Is that what they're called? Oh dear. Oh. I just shook the ketchup, the one that hadn't been opened and it had a tiny little hole in the oh, bottom. Oh, that's outrageous, isn't it? And it's all over me. Okay, yeah. Can you wipe me down, please? Your top's okay, but... <laughs> no, it's all over here. No, no, that's all right. That goes yeah. in the wash. It's uh, caravan, the uh, camper van. Was there any? No, I don't no, think so. I don't, I think that's... It, it, basically, you're just going to have to wipe it and then it's yeah. got to be going in the wash, isn't it? Yeah nothing you can do about well, it because it's going to show. I've got Is it going to ruin it? Or? No. no. Aldi burger with one of our own eggs. In the background, Charlie wiping off the tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're nice. They're like, um, yeah, just like McDonald's. Yummy. A sausage patty and we put an egg in and it comes with cheese and sauce mm, see what you think mm. and they're much bigger than mcdonald's mm. i think they're pretty good yeah delicious right yeah. like the sausage patty how much are they the 99p 99p each yeah I've had a little shave up here outside the ponderosa no one was watching were they barney i don't think anybody saw you no no I need a new razor blade because that, that one was rubbish. Leaving the old life behind, giving the new one a try, making the past as we go, trying a new. This is the town of Rhythin. Carol wants to come here to have a look at the old buildings. The way our life is. Got it? No, the machine's out of order. Oh. The sign comes up says machine out of order. Antique shops in Wales are always interesting places and if you ever get the chance, go to a Welsh auction.
I think this building is supposed to have the remains of a gibbet, but we couldn't see it. This is the Middleton Arms, and it has seven Dutch dormer windows. Carol also wanted to see this stone. In the background is St Peter's Church, founded in 1310, with some very ornate gates. So many different ways to make us fly. Life is too short to wear boring clothes. I think I need to do better. Uh oh, the traffic wardens are about. Time to get back to see if we're okay. We were all right, no ticket, so the note in the windscreen obviously did its job. We had a bit of lunch, a nice rest, so it's time to roll off the ramps and get going. Don't think they're old, are they? They're new. Well, let's see them. This is the town of Denby, and we've come to have a look around the castle. Nice of them to put the flags out for us. Park cars on the way up to the castle make it quite narrow and in the actual grounds there's not that much car parking space. On the way up the hill Carol checked online to see if there were any spaces left this afternoon and there were plenty. Denby Castle was built by King Edward I in 1282 after the conquest of Wales. It was granted to Henry de Lacy, the Earl of Lincoln, who began to build a new walled town colonised by immigrants from England. Well, there's no one booked in for four o'clock. Yeah. So if you book for four o'clock. Oh, I have to actually book, yeah? Yes, please. Right, okay. It's, um, it is online or on the phone at yeah, the moment. Yeah. Uh, Do you have um have you visited any cabin sites previously? Yes. Oh that you should have them um, you won't shouldn't so have to four o'clock put in your login details. So we're um English Heritage Brilliant. member uh, English Heritage member individual two of those. Yeah. Not work. Well, I can't remember if I've already got a login or not because it might have been a while ago. I was asked. I've got to create a login now. I'll put it through the cell for you. Don't worry. Are we in? I think so. Come on then. Like, easier to get into Fort Knox. Yeah. As you can imagine, the Welsh were not too happy about that conquest. So in 1294, the Welsh temporarily seized the castle during an uprising. In 1400, the walled town was raided again during the Glendower Uprising. Was it worth the walk down? It's amazing what you find at the bottom of a well. Anna, 
1659, the castle was seized by royalist soldiers during the Civil War and it was ordered to be destroyed by General George Monk. The town created a committee to look after the ruins and that is why they're still here to this day. I think the building in the centre is the County Council Head Offices and it looks like they've got a Covid station in the car park. On the way out from the castle we saw a very interesting building indeed. This is the former North Wales Psychiatric Hospital. It's no longer in use. It dates back to the 1840s but it closed in 1995 and has since fallen into disrepair. In October 2008 a special series of episodes of Most Haunted titled The Village of the Damned was broadcast from the hospital. Since October 2018 the derelict building has passed into the ownership of Denbyshire County Council so who knows what future awaits it. Tonight we'll be staying in a park up that we found on park for night. The park up is just down this road but the view from here is spectacular so I pulled over. The road noise is absolutely awful, but the view is beautiful. In the distance we get a lovely view of Conway Castle. Sadly we won't be visiting it on this trip, but we'll come back in a future date. So we're down at the proper park for night site now and it's time to put the front screens in. I criticised this screen when we first got the van but I take it all back. It's uh, a very easy way to black out the front. Obviously the sides are not up yet but we don't put them up until we're just about to turn in for the night so that we can keep seeing what's going on outside. So this is where we are tonight Tiny little car park. Just a little bit further down the road from where we were. It's a little bit less noisy here and no risk of someone running into the back of us. A park like that so that I can go forwards or backwards and swing around and also it's uh, the best place for me being level that night we had fish cakes with vegetables for our supper and whenever you see photographs it basically means my camera's charging. Anyway dinner was good and we settled down for a comfortable night. The horses seemed happy munching the grass all wrapped up against the cold and the bunnies are beginning to come out and play. If you enjoyed this video please give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper.